Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Nikita Devre. I am a digital marketing executive at Crave Infotech. Before we getting started, I'm going to go through some housekeeping to ensure you can interact with myself and the speaker. Firstly, if you wish to ask any question to presenter, we have Q&A session and chat feature enabled. We will also be launching a poll question in today's webinar. We invite you to participate by selecting your responses when they appear on your screen. We will have Q&A session at the end of the webinar to answer to your questions. Now I would like to welcome Murli and Milind. We are glad you could be here today to share your insights on webinar, optimize their house to last mile delivery through digital automation. Murli is the Sales and Operations Director at Crave Operations in India. During his 20 plus years of industry serving, he has handled and executed multiple automation projects for pharma, manufacturing, engineering, healthcare, and IT industries. At present, he is working closely with various automation projects in India. We also have Milind with us. He is Director Enterprise Application at Crave Infotech with 17 plus years of industry experience in core SAP, ECC, and S4 HANA. P2P, LEWMS, EWM, Delivery Project Management and Solution Architect. Now, before application briefing, briefing and demo, uh, we want to brief in short about Crave Corporate Profile and Digital Portfolio in short. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, I would like to hand over to Murli to start with the presentation. Over to you, Murli. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nikita. Uh, thanks for the brief intro of my million and uh, uh, to start off the uh, webinar. So uh, with this, I welcome you all and good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, because normally people join for from different geographies uh, to uh, crave webinar. So um, as mentioned by Nikita, in fact, mm, uh, today we have the webinar on uh, optimizing the warehouse uh, management uh, up to last mile delivery through um, digital automation. And um, uh, before starting on the subject, in fact, I just wanted to take you through very quickly about the organization, who we are, what we do, what are our services, uh, the journey of the organization. So uh, Nikita, I hope my screen is visible to all of you. Yes, we can see your screen. Okay, thank you so much. So um, uh, it's about Crave. We are 13 years old organization, operational from 2007, uh, working very closely with SAP right from our inception. And during this journey of uh, SAP services uh, and digital automation, we entered in uh, different geographies. We started from North America, then entered in India, and now we have expanded globally. Um, along with uh, services, we also entered in the products and solutions. And today we have almost 50 plus um, uh, digital uh, solutions to our credit, which are, uh, so many of them are also available on SAP App Center. Uh, and during this journey, we also won several awards, some prestigious awards. We were Pinnacle Award finalist, we were SAP ACE Award winner, and so on. So, um, when we talk about uh, the Crave Infotech and when we look at the marketplace, the growth plans, we have already our vision very clear till 2025. Uh, today we are um, serving in SAP BTP space, EAM, EWM supply chain and uh, by 23, 24, 25 we already have our plans in place. We want to um, enter in more customer space, more, more geographies um, and we uh, wanted to serve with um, doubling the entire headcount of the organization. Uh, uh, sorry, Murli, this is Milin. Uh, if you could speak a little bit louder, uh, then it will be nice. Your voice is a little bit low. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So, hope this is uh, fine, right, Milin? Yes, excellent. Yes, this is fine. Okay. Thank you so much. So, I was talking about the growth plan of the organizations. Um, 
we are today this is this is the crave infotech today we are around 150 plus team sites have worked for more than 50 large enterprise customers globally have worked on more than 50 plus pre-packaged products and solutions which i was talking about and during this journey as i mentioned we are sap partner from right from day one we are also associated with zebra which is a mobile computing devices manufacturer global leader then here technology which is in geo enablement solutions and amazon google partner also have needful certifications in quality and um, other aspects uh, required for um, uh, the uh, quality deliverables and awards i already discussed about sap awards and there are uh, se several other awards another point is all almost major all solutions are validated by zebra when we say validated by zebra they are tested for uh, battery leakage memory and uh, so on so um, today we have five focused verticals intelligent asset management, uh, uh, complete EAM portfolio, uh, Crave intelligent warehouse management, which we'll discuss today more, the complete end-to-end -end solution of warehouse management, intelligent supply chain, in which other than warehouse, there is there are other several four to five different solutions we have, which help you forward and backward integration in the complete supply chain activity. And then SAP business technology platform, which is uh, today's um, a buzzword of SAP and SAP is uh, predominantly driving this across globe and we are working very closely with them for the BTP initiative in which we help keeping S4 clean side by side extension process automation by RPA uh, workflow and so on. So. Uh, I was talking about products. So in products, intelligent warehouse management, intelligent um, asset management, um, a logbook, then uh, RFID based uh, warehousing and digit other digital uh, supply chain solutions. And in services, we work in mainly in SAP space, SAP BTP enablement, Fury enablement, uh, customized application development, uh, staff augmentation, and so on. So this is about the products and services of the organization. This chain diagram talks more about that. It is almost 40 plus uh, solutions which are available on SAP App Center, uh, powered by SAP BTP. When I talked about mainly uh, powered by SAP BTP or SAP App Center, it does not mean that we do not work in non-SAP space, but since being a SAP customer, so SAP partner, we, um, uh, have almost all solutions they are powered with uh, sap integration i mean we all the solutions are developed in sap uh, fury ui5 um, so uh, it, it goes with smooth integration with sap so here we are touching every functionality of the organization whether it is enterprise asset management, supply chain, connected assets and IoT, uh, C approvals, some approval platform, uh, dashboards, uh, dynamic modulars, master data management, uh, then order to cash and uh, product life cycle management, certain solutions in these areas. So, and we can brief you uh, more with more details in one on one interaction further if you have any interest of any of the solution. So, um, and these are the segments we cover, life science, energy, CPG, manufacturing, engineering, and we really have uh, some really giant logos to our credit in India and uh, North America. So with this, uh, this is today's agenda of the webinar. Um, we will talk about uh, the warehouse management, um, why the need of warehouse, I mean, uh, a digital warehouse then how determ to determine where your organization on the warehouse maturity curve. So we'll talk about warehouse maturity curve. Then we will also brief about how we can empower uh, customers uh, through our uh, mature warehouse model. 
and we will also uh, demonstrate barcode based or rfid based uh, solutions uh, in today's webinar at the end of the uh, uh, ppt so coming to warehouse management before even uh, i talk about that we would like to just brief you about the common challenges which we come across and you all are knowing this of course redundant procedure with time consuming labor task and we all know about this which lead to inefficient time management of warehouse workforce so uh, almost everybody here must be facing this issue then inaccuracy and inefficiency in handling inventory so we do not know uh, what are the stock levels uh, how they are building up of absolute inventory in the warehouse and which is increasing the cost of the inventory then difficult to manage stocking and taking orders with diverse product portfolio i was talking about the uh, challenges and we all know about that uh, so this is again we here we are trying to uh, mention the uh, challenges of the warehouse isolated systems internal external visibility gap labor shortages and so on so i'll just quickly move to the next slides because i understand uh, these all are your day to day challenges and there are these are the customer expectations also these are the expert trends trends in warehousing so customer expectations outside the warehouse demand more so pressure is increasing inside the warehouse and we are observing it in day to day op operations so order volume is all time high especially post pandemic and days have turned into hours and picking accuracy is vital and of course the next is omni channel transactions increasing skus which we talked about so tracking visibility accurate inventory and profitable omni channel these are the actually uh, the things we are trying to manage through uh, the digital warehouse solution so with this i would like to talk more about here on the maturity curve in warehouse when we talk about there are three layers since and when when we talk about any digital solution through for warehouse management uh, there are you will see the, there are three circles sense analyze and act the inner circle is the sensing of the activity um, so in which we we are using tools like barcode um, variable or wise sensors locationing intelligent automation then we analyze that so there is a data right and we uh, act uh, through um, the solution to optimize the activity so optimize use of mobility uh, targeted use of real time visibility widespread uh, use of real time visibility so these are the things we need to achieve through this complete automation process and we will see how crave can help you with complete end to end solution in digital warehousing so with this in fact i will hand over it to my colleague milin uh, who will uh, who is a warehouse management expert he himself is wm ewm expert and uh, he will take you through the complete end to end uh, digital solution what we crave have and we which will be followed by demo of the solution so over to you milin okay I hope my screen is visible to all of you. Yes, Melin, we can see your screen. Okay. Okay. So, uh, thank you, Murli and uh, Nikita, for giving me this opportunity. uh so this is the maturity curve which murli had just talked about and i will be talking about the warehouse management systems and uh, what are the role of rfids or epods and other concept uh our topic is last mile delivery so basically i will start from the last mile delivery and i will correlate this last mile delivery with the warehouse intelligence so basically last mile delivery is nothing but a uh, last leg of supply chain like your product manufacturers in a plant and then uh, finished products are stored in in warehouse after that the sales order is prepared and then you prepare the deliveries and then pgi 
after the pgi the products are loaded into the trucks and then truck goes to the customer premises okay and then customer says that yes i have received the goods so that last things where the customer received the good is the last mile in other word product journey from warehouse to doorstep of end customer is basically the last mile delivery and there is a end to end tracking possible in sap or non sap and it can be tracked through mobile devices so i will be talking more on that uh although this journey is starting from warehouse or the plant to the customer uh the roots of last mile deliveries are deep seated inside the warehouse because if the warehouse is intelligent enough then it is very easy to achieve the last mile delivery in effective and efficient ways so when we are talking about warehouse there are internal process then outbound process and then inbound process and there are common thread passing through all these three processes and that three processes is uh, the, the thread is where our uh, crave infotech comes into picture that is because we develop a mobile app in all uh, aspect like inbound outbound and internal process okay so this is uh, briefly about the last mile delivery and the slide which you are seeing here is the intelligent warehouse management system and what are our capabilities so at left hand side here you can see that the crave warehouse mobile application as i said we develop a mobile apps for internal outbound and inbound so inbound and outbound operations okay no matter whether it is a production warehouse so production warehouse means you are issuing the goods to the production and then receive the finished product from the production distribution warehouse is related to your uh, sales and distribution okay you are dispatching the good to the customer and uh, it is uh, closely related to last mile delivery cycle counting and internal transfer transfer the goods from one place to another place all it is your internal process so all these operations in bound out bonds are hovering around this crew warehouse mobile applications and as i said we are coming into picture over there so we have solution for everything for example we have end to end warehouse erp solution so what are that solution see if if you are talking about the sap if your back end system is sap ecc okay and if you have warehouse management module implemented in ecc yes we have a mobile application for that so there is a connection if you have s4 hana implemented and in s4 hana uh, as you know uh, the awm is uh, you know out of the box capabilities if it is implemented we have the warehouse management solution in terms of mobile application if you have s4 hana cloud there is no limitation that we do not implement our mobile application so in case of all three areas our mobile applications are useful how it is useful and what are this feature that i am going to explain you within a 5 to 10 minutes okay so uh, even though if you have decentralized warehouse management system that is embedded ewm yes our mobile application support that and these are the mobile application basically when we are talking about the mobile application we have partnership with the zebra as well as uh, sap so uh, so these are basically the device this is a tablet okay we can download uh, mobile applications on your tablet this is rf gun those who are using uh, uh, wms they might be using this uh, rf gun we can uh, download our mobile application here this is another version and this is what is called as mobile this is simply just like a mobile we can press a button and then we can scan the barcode okay this is another version of that so basically this is the mobile application devices and uh, with this our mobile application devices and all the business processes and your erp dynamics that is no problem no matter whether you have the uh, ewm it put in place or wm everything is hovering over our mobile applications and these are basically the picking because our area of uh, focus is picking uh, last mile delivery or the outbound process so i am just going to explain what are the different uh, innovations in the picking methodology uh before that i would like to explain you the site survey 
uh, is one of our capabilities. What we do is we visit your warehouse because when we implemented the mobile devices to one of our customers, he complained that your mobile device is not working. When we visited, we found out that there are interference of other Wi-Fi ranges. So we sorted this uh, problem. So practical difficulties, whatever are there, uh, then we visit the warehouse and resolve that. Uh, so there are various methods of picking where all the mobile application has a major role. Okay, there may not be mobile application, but the digitally or intelligent warehouse management. See, uh, you must be knowing, I mean, earlier, there is a paper-based picking. Okay, the warehouse uh, operator used to get paper and then he would see what are the bins and he would go to the bin by looking at the paper. So there was no automation. Over the period of time, the paper-based picking uh, replaced with the scanning, what we call it the handheld device. And this is basically the handheld device. He scan it and uh, scan the barcode. And after scanning the barcode, he will get the uh, bin number, where to go or how to perform the operation. In fact, QR code is also applicable. Paper-based picking, handheld device. Now the question arises, why handheld device? Why should I scan the deliveries, outbound deliveries? Bin and scanning is okay. But why I should scan the outbound delivery? Why can't it come to my mobile? And here the uh, your uh, mobile application comes into picture. So we have pick by voice. See, see these guys is picking by voice here. Okay, he is getting the voice that you have to go to that particular bin and pick. But there are, again, these advantages. So based on your business processes, we can implement this picking methodology. And then we have hand-free picking. See, this guy is doing the hand-free picking. Uh, so what we can do is we can tie it our uh, uh, handheld device on his uh, arm, uh, forearm, and then with the fingertips, he can scan it. There is new concept in recent past, what is called as uh, uh, vision picking or smart glasses. This guy is wearing a smart glasses, basically. So the concept is simple. Uh, that is, we have to stare it, the pallets, then pick it uh, using your bare hand because both hands will be free. And then he will pick the pallets or the cartons or the products and keep it in the good issue area. So there are certain picking methodologies. These are the some examples. And we have the barcode and QR code also. See, this is the QR code. And this is uh, basically your mobile applications. Okay, this is forklift, another innovation. We can mount our RFID device on the forklift. Okay, and then when forklift travels in the warehouse, it will scan it. And then everything will come in the back, on, uh, back end. So I will show you a detailed demo of how the RF device work. So basically, uh, this is called an intelligent warehouse. So in short, intelligent warehouse is, means the paradigm shift from manual operation to automatic operation to a digital operation. So digital operation means the voice pickings and then you know hand-free picking via glass uh, vision picking. Okay, and of course the forklift. So uh, the solution these are the handheld devices. I have already explained you about this. Uh, so using this warehouse management, uh, we can achieve a benefit like eighty percent efficiency in doing the job. 80% reductions uh, uh, in TCO, okay? Uh, so uh, that is the total cost of ownership, basically. 30% increase in productivity and 100% paperless. That's the area of concern. No paper required. Everything is in mobile devices. Then here is uh, some of the business challenges, which uh, Murli has already explained. And this is our success story. See, earlier, when we implemented, before implementation, there products were kept, uh, you know, uh, not in the proper fashion. It is a helter-skelter, see. And when we implemented a warehouse management system, all in, uh, a, in a queue or what we call it as in uh, a proper way, so that scanning is possible. So it has, again, the uh, benefit like reduce the operation cost, then simplified inbound, outbound. And one of the beauty of this RF device, it is very easy and simple to handle. So we can swap the labor because normally in warehouse we find that uh, there is a certain set of labor for inbound operation, certain set of labor for outbound operation. We can swap the labor. 
and there is nothing like a rocket science. He can just look at the mobile device and follow the instructions, and then for, so training cost is reduced. So we can say that uh, HR benefit will also get optimized. For example, job enrichment or reduce the boredom, monotonousness. So these are some are the indirect benefit. So we are talking about the benefit, but what about the actual demo? So that questions may be coming in your mind. So just wait, give me for five minutes. So I will go uh, directly show you the demo of how the last mile delivery is achieved. Uh, but before that, certain uh, prerequisite is essential. So this is the reason why I'm taking you this slide. Uh, these are the uh, basically scanning device. So scanning device are there. Printer. Okay, how to print a barcode and how it look like the QR code that also I'm going to show you. Okay, these are the RFID. RFID will also talk more on that. So basically, this is your RF gun, and you can scan it. And this device, this this is uh, this kind of device is called as a, a reader. So scanner and reader, and uh, these are the unattended. So attended and unattended RFID. Uh, so we'll talk more on the attended unattended RFID. Uh, so in the during the next slide, this is called as the DCS portfolios, distributed uh, control system, okay, or uh, what we call it a decentralized control system. So both the terms are interchangeably used. Earlier they used to call it that decentralized. Now it is a distributed control system. So this system has uh, you know RFID basically. So see RFIDs are mounted uh, on a rack here or uh, in a forklift. And this is a complete model end to end. So I was talking about the production and then keeping in warehouse. So this is basically the warehouse views. Okay, so this is a forklift, forklift operator. And he has this, uh, uh, you know, pallets and he's taking this pallet to outside this door and it is loaded in truck and uh, all this materials either the truck will go to the direct customer premises or this main truck will go whatever the case may be but everything is controlled in a warehouse like when the product is manufactured and put it in the bin while picking okay and then pick and pack everything is managed so there is a you know a it department sitting over here so it manage everything and uh, we are talking about the RFID. So RFID has four components basically. RFID tag, it is active or passive. So active tag is basically it has own power supply and emitter signal. So I will show you in a minute time uh, demo of that. And passive tag, passive has no power supply of its own. Okay, you can scan it. So RFID tag is a one, antenna is another and reader. So what you are seeing here, uh, the reader is attached, uh, is mounted on the uh, forklift and is continuously emitting the signal and your database. The database is basically to compile the data and evaluation the data. So this is a complete distribution control system uh, where end-to-end -end operation can be tracked. Now, when the goods are PGI, okay, pick, pack, everything happens, okay, the goods are PGI. What happens to delivery, whether it achieved reach to the customer premises, whether we can track so end to end tracking is possible by using epod concept electronic proof of delivery and that also we have taken into mobile so i will show you that demo also uh, so this is basically uh, internal warehouse and outbound operation we do have the inbound like this, this is the inbound trucks and we are putting away and the same as outbound there is a uh, what you call it as a uh, the goods which are kept over here and transfer from one place to another place. So we can mount uh, uh, your RFIDs or the reader and we can scan and the same as outbound, IT department will be able to manage everything. So basically this is the conveyor belt. Okay. So when the goods are passing from conveyor belt, it is scanning by the RFIDs and it is noted by these uh, warehouse uh, guys because everything, all the data will be stored in the back end. So this is inbound operation. Now this is what is called a see this is a truck. This is basically RFID tag and this is a signal continuously emitting the signal. This is called as reader. It reads the RFID tags okay on the truck and the truck will pass through here. See and then gate closes. 
okay the similar similar uh, things like what our car when we go to the uh, uh, when you go outside then uh, there's the same system so we use the same systems in warehouse also the truck goes and scan and all the data this is the antenna all the data gets stored like when we scan the truck it means what the we capture the truck number and the truck number can be you know entered into inbound delivery uh, while uh, performing the inbound operation so this is about the scanning and rfid now i will show you the actual demo okay okay by the time if you have the question paul then you can log the question nikita shall we take the question paul now or afterwards uh, yes we can take it now i'll launch the poll okay then i will wait for some time okay yeah sure be sure uh, the poll question is on i request everyone uh, to please go through the questions and uh, submit your answers Uh, first question we have is are you facing any challenges in a current warehouse management activity due to manual process uh, are you planning to digitize your current inventory or warehouse management process and the third question is would you like to have a detailed discussion with our team for create cwms solution i request everyone to uh, go through the question pool and submit your responses Uh, i'll put the poll questions on uh, you can go ahead okay you are able to see my screen or uh, is uh, yes. it visible yes it is visible okay okay so i am back again uh, so now i am going to show you the demo so as murli said that we have a couple of applications so more than 50 application we have mobile application all mobile applications are customized as per the user need so uh, whatever the sap screens are there that will not be visible over here but in the simplest form for example uh, in sap mego transaction you get a plant why do you need plant because everybody knows that they are working in the plant everybody knows that which warehouse they are working so no need to display the warehouse so certain screen certain uh, values can be masked okay disable so anyway we are talking about the last mile delivery and then epod concept so we have app like we have apps on the supply chain management we have apps on the enterprise process management uh, ca approval so you have uh, approval of uh, purchase order purchase requisitions or sales order so you name the apps and we can build it or it is already available so we can say that all and sundry apps uh, mobile apps we have and within the single click or few clicks we can achieve uh, our objective of uh, digitalization or automation okay so we are talking about the epod concept or electronic proof of delivery so this is the app basically so i will show you how this apps looks like okay i think i will have to open another windows yes so this is epod so just to brief you about as i said after pgi in a warehouse you are not clear about what happens your delivery whether it has reached to the customer premises or not all this can be captured in where in a um, uh, mobile apps and can be tracked so end to end tracking is possible okay the procedure process is very simple so normally so there are two parts basically normally uh, with the b2b like we have the sales order created like when we want to order something like mobile phone then what we do we go to the site and order the mobile phone and then within a few days uh, maybe after two three days we get a mobile phone at our doorstep and you might have seen that uh, in dominos or uh, in certain vendor you sign it okay the so same principles uh, uh, is applicable over here 
so if we want to have the sales order b2b creation we can create here and then we also have the customer we can enter all the customer name uh, their address name mobile so i will show you the detailed demo also and uh, then uh, we can uh, you know pick up the delivery direct pick up at the customer name. for example if you want mobile uh, mobile phone then the agent is assigned and that agent will go to the warehouse and then he pick the product like uh, we have again type pick by material so there are certain material so we can pick the product by material we can pick the material by store because we have let's say domino pizza store then uh, various stores are there so we can pick the product by store or material or by delivery number okay so this is the one track actually now another track is or another case is uh, our normal case we create a sales order based on a customer purchase order and when we create a sales order what we do we do the delivery we pick and pack the delivery and then we pgi it after pgi what happens so after pgi everything is track uh, uh, end to end by mobile application okay by means of these tiles okay so after pgi a truck comes into picture so we load the truck because pgi is happens now that we load the truck okay we see the truck stock actually these tiles are not arranged in a, a proper manner okay see we load the truck okay now there are multiple products okay let's say this is a bacon cooked atom there are four atoms so here we have also provided the icon so either we can see one two see there are four part okay the as when we increase it here it start decreasing okay now see it's now a zero okay because we have completed everything four all the product we have put picked by driver i mean it is loaded into the truck basically it get loaded into truck so if you want to have the sales order here everything is possible okay so we have not shown here sales order if you take another product let's like say uh, cook italian sausage crumble three number so i can directly add here three number okay and when i press enter see it's come zero similarly i will take one more so there are n number uh, so i can take uh, for the sake of simplicity sandwich bread okay let's say five so here first leg accuracy is confirmed because when the product is pgi add and the delivery contains how many atoms so until and unless the driver sees everything is zero he will not load that he will not start the truck so truck stock again we are going to monitor this okay so now next finish okay so simple just add the product and the truck is loaded now it's time to check out the truck but before check out the truck truck driver definitely would like to know what is the truck stock so he can go here and he can see the truck stock so this happens after pgi after pgi the delivery from warehouse see there are three products bacon cook and cook italian sausages and sandwich five number four number so he confirm that uh, you know our truck stock and everything is uh, uh, is up to the mark now go to the next okay truck loading so if you go to the here uh, let's say check out okay he's checking out the truck okay now checking out the truck truck is loaded the stock is also uh, verified now he clicked on next checker so who is the checker so he has to we can enter we can customize that we can enter manually or whatever the warehouse operators are available they can enter his name and then he can sign it so he can sign it here right so signature is confirmed now driver it's now driver turn to say sign it okay. so sorry i'm getting a call okay. so again so truck driver is also sign it so the person who loaded he signed it the person the driver also uh, uh, you know perform the signature and next so it means what after the pgi the truck is loaded with the stock truck stock is check and checking out 
now we may we have also the google maps and all the track the driver's location and next is delivery so delivery is not something uh, you know inside the warehouse but the delivery means uh, it is uh, reach to the customer premises okay i would request uh, some of my team member to uh, you know communicate kalpana that i am in meeting okay okay so delivery means uh, uh, when the products are reached to the customer premises okay the customer has to agree that yes the product has reached to him and uh, then it is a delivery okay so let's see what happens here bacon cooked okay so these are the product which is four quantity has been delivered now the is is customer turn so he will enter here four okay and then he click on next so this product is also confirmed and now he received the product so he has to also sign it okay so sign by card or cash let's see card number he will enter okay and click on okay so that's his payment is received so simple it means the once the payment is received to the uh, to, to the uh, supplier your billing process start okay so now he can uh, we can enter this the name whatever the name and again remark okay or whatever you want and again the customer also sign okay and complete okay so i will go to the screen now so what happens the truck is loaded the truck stock is checked and then product is uh, checked out delivery also happens and then he checks so when he sign the delivery in the customer in the supplier premises the billing process start so the billing process at the supplier premises and the customer process in the entry into the system as the inbound happens at the same time so there is a synchronization and hence this is the importance of the last mile delivery we can have the return delivery so the similar way we can have the return delivery and after that we can also have these signatures and all and uh, in your uh, system like no matter which system you have you have sap or non sap system we can set a traffic signal like you know customer the delivery has been reached to the customer premises or is in process so you know red flag or uh, yellow flags or green green flag something kind of uh, flag we can set okay so this customer this i have already explained and we have beautiful dashboard okay so how many deliveries are there okay which are processing how many deliveries are completed what are the office expenses let's see so odometer uh, departure when the truck depart from the customer uh, from the supplier premises you can note down the reading and when the customer when the supplier reach to the customer premises you note down the reading so last check and difference between the we can customize all as per your need so this is uh, all about the uh, you know epod and how mobile application track end to end process right from the production process to the customer premises reach okay and of course it has a advantage on the last mile delivery because uh, you know during the covid times 2020 uh, the business were struggling to cope up with the customer need like faster and the same day delivery zero cash payment you know end to end tracking so this uh, mobile application helps to resolve the issues and uh, there is no reverse logistic where is the question of reverse logistic here because customer just sign it make a payment and then customer is bill for the uh, goods which they are received so reverse logistic is also reduced okay now i will show you the main heart of the warehouse of various operation okay so let me open another screen here as i said we have uh, various applications all and sundry application so we have warehouse management application inventory management application so if we click here then we will get all see uh, your screen will look like this so i will show you the demo so your screen will look like this you have good receipt you have reward i am talking about the inside the warehouse right not the uh, epod so you have good receipt then return good issues then put away then all the icons are here this can be customized if you want this icon or uh, you can uh, you know uh, uh, shuffle it uh, so based on your requirement we can do that 
and uh, i will show you a quick demo of how the good receipts happen how our mobile application look like so the user will get application like this in his mobile phone he can click here uh, the more clear picture you will get in the uh, another apps but just to show you how the operation happens now we are performing the good receipt okay enter the purchase order or scan this. this is the scanner so we can scan the purchase order enter the purchase order then click on search and you will get the delivery note number so whatever delivery note numbers and comment you want to add you can add it okay and then directly your good receipt screen open so you have these atoms 10 20 30 purchase order atoms so you can click one of the atoms and perform your good receipt so everything is free you know type you don't have to do anything you don't have to enter the plant if you want to mask the plant you can mask the plant see this is grayed out you don't have to enter anything storage location that is your choice okay moment type 101 by default it comes stock type by default it comes if it is a quality stock as per material master it will be quality stock or unrestricted stock or you can change it okay what you have to do is you have to just enter this amount quantity 30 that's it and if you confirm this everything will be posted in the background and then good receipt is successful you will also get a good receipt document so i will show you in another app how it look like but the idea is to show you how easy the operation is so if you see this operation has only three to four click and into three to four click uh, the user uh, will achieve what he wants he doesn't have to go to the systems and migo and enter the purchase order numbers no everything is gone now okay so this is a warehouse management inventory app so normally we can also customize your uh, mobile screen in this inbound outbound and internal if you want to this fashion we'll do in this way so again you can go inside that and you will have another good receipt so you can have good receipt by purchase order good receipt by whatever is delivery various options are available okay now i will directly jump into warehouse management application uh, which we have built for one of our customer and it's a success story which i have already explained you so this is the warehouse management application and you can observe this how easy this application is used user will get this kind of screen so user can enter his user id and password question will come to your mind whether user need to have uh, sap user id or uh, non sap user id we can correlate this with the sap user id as well not a problem so user has to enter this uh, user id password and then log in and another thing which is most important mobile application take the shape of whatever uh, the screen size you have for example this is very big size so if you are using a smartphone okay then you will have this kind of mobile application so if you are using ipad mini then you have this so whatever the shape you want it will the system will take the shape of that again we can customize this lane breadth etc using this so that is again the beauty of this product okay so now complete digitalization when we say that paradigm shift from uh, manual process to automate to digital process so print if i check on print then i will get all the good receipts so all the good receipt happens earlier will be visible here user doesn't have to go to the system and find out whether the good receipts are there or not these good receipts and all everything can be assigned to a particular user because in initial screen we saw that the user enter his user id and password so supervisor sitting in the cabin can assign the good receipt and user when he open the screen he will directly get the screen so what he has to do just note down how many you know clicks he has to uh, perform in order to take the print out first click we have already done then second click okay he is printing the good receipt how the label look like See here this is the label looks like so all material number pos and gr manufacturing date expiry date can be also added so everything is added into you know uh, this you, he, he can see the uh, print review now there are various palette you have large palette you have medium palette you have small palette so no problems you we can have the small palette also and we can see the print out this is the printout of small palette so whatever information you want to provide to the user you can provide it okay so how many clicks 
first click is just to open this screen and then just print within two print qr label gets printed see qr label and this this uh, gr will go away from his mobile application for example if i click here and if i print here just to click that's it so user will take this labels and paste it on the material so now nothing is pending so user workload is completed it will also uh, achieve your 21 cfr uh, legal requirement of pharmaceutical that end to end tracking is uh, user id passwords and not password user ids and uh, time and date should be tracked so everything is tracked in the back end so now nothing is there nothing is assigned and we can have the workload also in how many hours in how many times how many duration the worker has completed the uh, work now we have reprint option suppose there something problem in the printing then we can also reprint it we can enter the reason also let's say what is the network issue print format and one more thing is we have the bot okay for example user has a problem he doesn't understand it then he can directly click here and uh, uh, you know the bot will come here and then he can so what is the plant list and all so everything he can type so he can ask for the help so he can create the ticket there and there itself while performing the operation while performing the uh, you know inbound outbound or anything if he has some problems he can lodge a ticket itself by looking at this bot okay so that's the beauty so print reprint and i will show you one transaction like put away how put away happens so he has to just put away and then as i said the gujar list is already assigned to the user so he can go to the user and then he can scan the material okay now as i do not have a handheld device here i am using a manual process here okay using excel this is a kind of qr code okay and this is a material scan so he can let's see he has scan the uh, material he is scanning the material okay here and then uh, okay do you want to scan the individual label if there are multiple material and if you want to put away multiple pallet into same label into same bin depending upon your strategy you can do that so their option is available and then bin scan so bin will automatically appear here based on your strategy if you are using im systems and there is no bin available there is no uh, automatic bin setting in your system because it is im managed you can manually enter the bin okay and here is a guiding device so, uh, we can set you the you can give the bin list this material could be available is which how many bins or which bin we'll get the list of bin also okay or otherwise you can scan the bin whatever the bin user sees it he can go to that bin okay and if you scan it let's see he scan the bin okay that's it see so how many operations so he will get a gr list okay the system will tell you which bin to go or whatever bin he is uh, he want to put away the material he can go to that scan it and just simply put away that's it so transfer order this is warehouse management that's why i am giving you the transfer order otherwise material document numbers and all everything you will get the message over here in the back end so this is uh, about the put away uh printing reprinting put away supplier return then good issue against reservation if you are issuing the order for example good issue to the production order then we have the apps here okay issue against the order so Uh, so if you are creating the production order or process order or maintenance order you will get the list because when you create the production order or process order the system create a reservation in the background either you take the reservation as a reference so system will tell you the reservation also as well as order again uh, supervisor can assign this to individual user based on the priority or based on uh, 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 you know the the policies uh, which you, user should uh, take up which order so everything based on supervisors in the back end he can assign it and what so once what user has to do nothing he will get the uh, this reservation list and an order he will go that he is not scanning anything just click on that and moment tap 261 that is a good issue to do production order or process order or the maintenance order and then he will scan the material codes and then issues 
so the same thing happens we can have this uh, already created so i am not showing that because of the uh, interest of the time uh, so we have multiple application in that uh, one more thing which i would like to see is a warehouse contains multiple bins you know how you will come to know that where which material is exactly placed at where which which location that you can do using a bin scan or qr scan see either you can scan the bin or you can scan the material and the system will tell you information just to show you the demo i will show you the demo of that okay let's see the user scan this bin okay then he will come to know that this bin contain exactly what and material also let's say if he scan the material okay then he can he will come to know that this bin contain how many materials and what is the status of that bin everything material number this available stock is this so what is the po number what was the good received what was the good received date requested by or if you want the status whether it is quality or available everything he will get okay so this is the application for the bin we do have the physical inventory application physical inventory becomes very easy so via applications you will get the physical inventory list uh, what are the physical inventories uh, because physical inventory document is related to storage location basically uh, so material storage locations uh, and then document is created in the systems and then you will get uh, all the list here so he has to just click here and then enter if it is zero count he can enter the zero count and then from bin not only that if he wants that uh, the there is no system intervention what he can do is he will take up the rf gun or take up the scanner mobile device he will scan the skin as per his wish and everything gets scanned and then he will come to know and he has to punch the quantity you know how much quantity is there and everything in the back end gets stored and against that the book stock that is system stock will appear as a report okay so this is uh, all about our applications uh, and uh, uh, the demo so in short the last mile delivery routes are deep seated inside the warehouse and hence the warehouse has to be intelligent and has to be digital that is the point number 1 and another take away is a last mile delivery through epod which is the third window connecting the supplier and customer so now the poll is open uh, for question and answer thank you i think we don't have any questions uh, as of now uh, still i'm putting up the email address in the chat section uh, if uh, any one of your uh, questions are not answered you can contact us on this email yeah uh, okay thank you melin sir thank you murli sir thank you thanks a lot thank you everyone uh, we are closing the webinar yeah thank you thank you so we'll close this discussion right yeah okay